Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today, we're making a well-known American Chinese food, orange chicken. It's not traditional, but the technique of making fried chicken and coat it with a sweet and sour sauce is commonly used in many, many Chinese recipes, such as sweet and sour pork, shrimp, tofu, fish, anything you name it. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve that crispy on the outside, tender, juicy inside consistency and a perfectly balanced sweet and sour sauce so you can make sweet and sour anything. Okay, let's get started. First, you will need some chicken. I'm using chicken breast. Trim off the excess fat. Cut it in half, angle your knife to 45 degrees and slice the chicken into a quarter of an inch thick pieces. Usually I'm a chicken thigh person, but today I only got chicken breast and it will also work if you marinate it well. It's really simple. Half teaspoon of salt, a little bit black pepper to taste, the trick is I'm using freshly squeezed orange juice as a meat tenderizer. I'm not using all the juice from half of a orange, just about two tablespoons. The acid in the fruit can tenderize the meat and this amount of liquid will keep the meat moist. Just mix everything until the chicken absorbed all the liquid. Cover it and let it sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Next, let's make a batter. Crack in two eggs, beat them well, mix it with 100 grams of cornstarch. Use a fork, stir it continually. The cornstarch might clump up at the beginning. Just keep doing it. Once you got most of the flour, scrape down the edge with a rubber spatula. Keep mixing it and you will get a really smooth, shiny looking batter. Add the chicken in, you really want to get in between each piece of chicken and make sure they all coat it well. Heat the oil to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, you can test it by dropping a little bit better. If you see it bubbles a lot and it floats to the top immediately, that means you're good to go. Fish them out and you can add the chicken in. Yes, I'm using my hand directly above the hot oil. It looks dangerous, but it's not because I am not causing any splashing by dropping the chicken close to the oil. Of course, you can use chopsticks or tongue to do this. Don't crowd the pan and make sure they don't stick together. If they did, separate them. Continually stir to ensure an even frying. You can take them out when you feel that the surface is getting hard, doesn't need to be golden brown. There will be some little crumbs left in the oil. Fish them out as they do affect the quality of the oil. Fry the second batch of the chicken. Once you finish all of them, set it aside and let it rest for 10 minutes. We're gonna double fry the chicken. This time, heat the oil to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. You can add all the chicken in ones because they will not stick to each other anymore. Double frying is the key to make sure all your chicken pieces come out crispy. Keep stirring until you get a light golden color. Set it aside and we'll make the sauce. Heat up your wok, add a little bit oil, some minced ginger, garlic, and few shakes of chili powder. This is optional. If you don't eat spicy food, you don't need to add it. Stir until fragrant, then pour in a quarter cup of orange juice. It is better to be freshly squeezed. Commercial long life juice doesn't have that tropical citrusy flavor. 3.5 tablespoon of light soy sauce a quarter cup of brown sugar, and one and a half teaspoon of orange zest. Stir to melt the sugar. I like to add one tablespoon of honey, 
just for the honey flavor. It is optional and also depends on your taste. Then pour in three tablespoons of white vinegar. The reason we add it now is that we can drop down the temperature of the liquid, and you can add in the cornstarch water. If you add it while the liquid is boiling hot, it will clump up easily. Keep cooking it on medium low heat. Make sure you taste the sauce and find a perfect balance between the sweetness, sourness, and saltiness. I made this many times, and I know this is perfect for me. In about two minutes, you should reach a consistency that is a bit thicker than syrup texture. If the sauce is too thin, the chicken will lose the crunchiness when you mix everything. Okay, I think the texture looks good. Turn off the heat and dump all the chicken in. Quickly stir and make sure all the pieces are coated well. Take them out and you can serve. Top some diced green onion, few shakes of red chili powder. I got some extra orange pieces left. Put it in there, make the color pop. Looks nice in presentation. <laughs> Look at that. I always believe that shiny-looking food equals delicious. This will be good just with some plain rice. Let's give it a try. You hear that? <laughs> so crispy. Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> The orange juice in the marinade does a really good job keeping the chicken juicy and tender. Also, this smells wonderful, so fresh. You can really taste that orangey, citrusy flavor. And I love the sweet and sour sauce. To me, it's perfect. <laughs> But everybody has. Different taste. What you need to do is take my recipe, adjust it to your own preference. Then you have a formula, and you can make sweet and sour anything. <laughs> I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. As always, the recipe will be in the description down below the video. You can go check that out. Don't forget to take a look of my channel. I'm sure you'll find out how to make your favorite Chinese food. New videos come out every Wednesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.